Elysium, which I do plan to pick up. It's, it's uh, supposed to be coming out on the 28th. So um, that's probably going to be the next playthrough on the channel. Um, if not that, well, I might do that alongside of uh, the Valkyrie game for the PlayStation. But that's all that's besides the point right now. Right now, we have another game. It's from Koei Tecmo. Uh, as you know, these are the guys that made the Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, Dynasty Gundam, and um, the other, you know, Warriors games like Hyrule Warriors. Uh, I think they did a One Piece Warriors. They did a lot of Warriors titles for animes. Um, and they also did my favorite of the series, which is Sengoku Basara. Um, and also Team Ninja, who, which, which kind of worries me because Team Ninja, if I'm not mistaken, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll put up a correction if I'm wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, Team Ninja did make, uh, the Dead or Alive games. So, uh, that kind of worries me because of, you know. Uh, Dead or Alive is known for one thing and one thing only, and that's over like $200 worth of DLC of nothing but fan service. Now, um, it could be a lot, it's probably a lot more than that now, but again, that's besides the point. Um, we're checking out this demo for the first time. This game, I believe, is coming out early 2023. So this is more like an investigations type video just to see what it's like. Now, from what I understand, it's supposed to be a Souls-like game. So it's supposed to be in the same vein as Dark Souls, Elden Ring. And by Souls-like, it's supposed to be as difficult as those games. So, uh, as you know, when I played Elden Ring, um, El to me, Elden Ring was a lot of fun when it came to the exploration. But when it came to uh, the story, I thought the story was trash. Um, and again, I put most of the boss agitation on myself for, you know, not taking breaks. So we'll see how this game checks out. Um, this is an online-only demo available for a limited time. Please notice that Connect to PlayStation is required. Yes, of course. The game has auto save. Language is in English. Audio language, of course, is going to be in English. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Prioritize FPS. High frame rate will prioritize in this mode. High resolution. Well, I want the frame rate. End initial settings. Yes. And it's looked like it's, it's, I don't know if it's, um, it might be, you know what? Instead of guessing, let's just find out. Let's we'll start a new game. I, I can't continue because I don't have, we already did our system settings, so let's go ahead and get into the game. Again, this is an investigation to determine whether or not I want to pick this game up. Switch costume. Well, that was ridiculous. Um, base. So I guess we're character developing now. Base. Type. I can only choose one type. I don't know why, but I can only choose one type. Okay, wait a minute. No, no, I can choose two types. Oh, 
So you could be a male or female, apparently. Graphics look pretty good. Appearance template. So you can be Asian. Well, at least all the all the character models. All the character models. Why don't they make Dynasty Warriors look like this? I don't know why, but my analog wasn't working there for a second. Oh, okay. I, I don't I don't understand why my analog, but we'll we'll keep this for now. Yeah, see my analog does not work in this menu. Personal pronouns. This function is not available in this version. Personal pronouns? I'm sorry, but I'm from an era where it, I'm from an, a bygone era, so I'm not I legit am not sure what that even means. Stance so you can determine your stance. I don't really see a difference. What's the difference? Maybe I can see a difference in this. Oh, so I guess it's where your knees are facing. Let me let me check out the appearance so you can be someone that looks like Jubei Yagyu. I don't know what you look like. That actually doesn't look half bad. I don't like the mohawk though. I wonder I wonder if you can change it. Skin color is fine. Face skin type. You can only choose three. Of course, it's a demo, so, you know, body skin type. So we're going to stick with this, actually, because he looks pretty cool, except for the mohawk. I'm not going to, well, actually, can I take the scars off of his face? Because, uh, wait a minute. It don't seem to be too scarred, the mustache. Yeah, everything, everything looks cool here. Hair. Uh... Perfect. Yeah, I'll take this. Because ain't no way in the world I'm giving him any of these other styles. Well, this one doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look realistic either. Well, I guess it does. This? No. 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 We'll go with this. Flip horizontally, doesn't make any sense. Crown, crown hair? Oh, okay, so it's at the top. So I can get a, I can get a box. And it's not necessarily a box, but uh, why is part of my hair white, orange, and black? We'll keep it low cut, we'll keep it low cut. Facial hair is fine. No makeup. What's the voice? This function is not available for this vor version. Can I test uh, it? Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. Say. Uh. That'll work. Um, we'll finalize that. Wait, isn't there any? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so we'll finalize that. Select one from the five phases that matches your playstyle. Attack-oriented, defense-oriented. Hold on. Excels in attack. The Divine Beast of the Fire phase, Zook. Zuke. Or Zuku has the power to engulf the nearby area in fire. Defense. The Divine Beast of the Earth phase Keelan or Keelan has the power to summon some stone pillars to impact nearby enemies. Support. Excels in support and recovery. The Divine Beast of the Wood phase King Long 
has the power to greatly heal yourself and your nearby allies. Debuff. By who will accompany you for a set period of time to fight alongside you. That seems kind of, I mean, I like the outfit though. Looks more like a, a wandering samurai. Water phase gives you San Wu. Will remain still for a short period of time and launch ice projectiles at enemies. Um. Oh, twin blades, eh? Stealth oriented? Uh, I don't know about that, but you know what? We'll go with this. Are you sure you want to select the following phase? This will decide your basic attack, or your basic stats, divine beast, and wizardry spells at the start of the game. You can change your divine beast and wizardry spells later. Yeah, if I can change them later, I'll stick to this for now. I might as well start the tutorial. I might as well start the tutorial. I always, whenever I watch a playthrough online and people just skip the tutorial and then they get upset when they don't know how to play. Let me see, adjust camera, reset camera. Walk around. Yeah, this kind of has the exact same aesthetic as Elden Ring, right? Like, you saw the items go on the, on the right side of the screen over there? Um, status menu. Equip, equip two types of melee weapons. Oh, so I can equip a different type of melee weapon here? Ring, pummel, saber, pole arm. I'll get the pole arm. Why not? Alright. Next up, switch melee weapons with R2. Alright. You lock on with R3. Switch targets with R. I mean, with right analog. Square is normal attack, triangle is spirit attack. Okay. Oh, an extra jump. I don't think you can jump in Elden Ring. Can you? Yeah, you probably. You probably can. Yeah, you can jump some of the other horse. That's right. Martial Arts, R1 and Square and R1 and Triangle. Alright, Martial Arts. Do you see his, like, he's... You can deflect with circle or left and circle before receiving an enemy attack. Dodge by pressing circle twice will allow you to redirect your enemy's attack. So hold on, if I push... Oh, that is... that is nice. Oh, that is nice! Uh, left trigger to guard. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Hold on, what is he speaking like that? Deflect counter attack. Quickly change equipped melee weapon. And unleash a powerful blow. I might need to see the video on this. Wait, R1 plus circle. R1 plus circle. Um. Oh, 
Oh, so it switches out of body. I don't know, I might be picking this game up too, not gonna lie. Circle deflect enemies critical blow. So an enemy will wind up to perform a critical blow which cannot be blocked with guard. Taking damage from a critical blow will lower your morale rank by one. If you redirect an enemy's critical blow, the power of the of the deflect increases and you can significantly break the enemy's stance and recover your negative spirit. I need to see that in action. Oh, that's all? I like the music too. Okay. Fatal Strike. Near a defenseless enemy. A Fatal Strike. So, yeah, this is like, uh... If they took... It's almost like if they took Elden Ring and, uh, put the aesthetics like... Let me move this. Oh, they're gonna show me how to shoot. Equip two types of ranged weaponry. Okay, so R2 and up and down switches melee. R2 and left and right switches range. Okay. So give me the bow and arrow. And I'm assuming I have to equip ammo, right? Oh, I don't have any. Alright. What? I need my boy and arrow for this. Yeah, I'm about to try to at least move. I'm about to die. Am I out of arrows? Okay. Oh, looks like they threw some more down here. Please. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I am trash right now. Okay. Wizardry, R2 square, triangle, and X and circle. So basically in this game, hold on, why didn't that, I'm about to say, why didn't that do any damage? What? Yeah, so like in this game, you're not you're not limited to one. Uh, you're not limited to one thing. You can be, you can be a spellcaster and a melee de dealer, damage dealer. Summon divine beast with circle and triangle. Is that a, is a turtle? Divine Beast Resonation. Square and X while Divine Beast God is full. I can see myself playing this game quite often. Alright, glorious victory. So it looks like we finished the tutorial. I love how they put the the um, ancient China spin with the with the mar the martial arts and oh boy, Guigui Valley. 
So I guess I was up here training. But it still doesn't seem souls like in my opinion. Rest after resting at a flag your HP will restore. Yeah, so this is your pretty much a campfire. This is pretty much just like um Elden Ring. What is this? Summon an NPC or recruit allies. Yeah. I, and, and like I said, Elden Ring if 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 there was nothing but exploration in Elden Ring, it would have been an amazing game to me. But the story kind of ruined it for me. Make battle preparations. Level up. Can I level up? Will they let you do that in the demo? What? Water virtue. Oh, okay. So since I'm already 10 with water, oh, I have nothing to invest. Required genuine chi. Okay, so genuine chi. Alright, so I don't have any chi right now, so... Oh yeah, that's another thing. Elden Ring swings with... left trigger. But in this game, you swing with square. Are you an enemy? Friend or foe, my friend. Friend or foe. Ow. Ow. Don't let me learn no combos, son. Hey, I'm already about to die? Am I already about to die? Genuine Chief Flake. Can you climb? Wait, jump with X, scale, jump. Oh, so you can scale. Uh, oh, that's a little bit. Yeah, so it's kind of like Dynasty Warriors, but in an Elden Ring setting. So it's that I can scale walls? Okay, perfect. Hold on. What you got, boy? I think I'm dead here. I think I'm dead here. Yep. Now come on now, that wasn't a crushing defeat. Come on now. Don't disrespect me like that. That wasn't a crushing defeat. You will see a warning when the enemy tries to form a crushing blow. You will lose your morale points and half of your genuine chi when you're killed. The morale rank of the enemy that killed you will increase. You can regain your lost chi and morale points by defeating the same enemy. If the enemy is a boss, you will regain them by challenging them once again. However, if you die again before regaining them, the loss is gone forever. So, first of all, let me get my sword back out because you ain't going to disrespect me like that. Second of all, I gotta get used to the parry system here. Ooh, headshot. So headshots apparently matter in this game. How do you sneak? Right. I'm wondering if I can sneak up on this guy. Come on, get back up here. Yeah! Don't let me learn, boy. Don't let me learn. Now, where's the guy that killed me? Oh, I don't have any more arrows. Unfortunate. So his morale has increased because he got a kill on me. Now. Well, let's run that back, my friend. Let's run that back. Yeah, let's run it back. Got 
my stuff back. I don't know if you can use it. You dying out here in a demo? Come on, man. Wait, I didn't get anything for that? No rewards? I didn't even get morale points. Something tells me I should have saved my arrows. Making sure I don't get jumped out here. See? See? You ain't got enough sense, boy. You ain't got enough sense on you. Yeah! Yeah! You didn't, you didn't expect me to do that, huh? Let's see what's in here. Tiger seal. I'm assuming I can't jump down here even though it looks like I can. If this is anything like Elden Ring, I'm not gonna chance it. That's where I came from. But I say your morale affects your combat power. Oh. So right now my morale is one. So if I fight somebody whose morale is five, I'm gonna get washed. Is that what you're saying? Deflect? Yeah, I'm aware about deflecting and dodging myself. You know? You gonna pay for that. Forgot about my martial abilities, huh? Although, there's gotta be a way to heal, right? There's no way to heal? Oh, okay. I'm about to say, if there's no way to heal, I'm dead. You know what? Eat this boy. Oh, that didn't do anything. That just made him mad. I about to say you gonna come down here and fight? Yeah! Oh. Yes, sir! Stop letting me learn, man. Stop letting me learn. Oh! Stop letting me learn! You let me learn how to fight? You let me learn how to fight, and I will absolutely destroy you. Except in Dead by Daylight, apparently. What was that? Oh. So I can't get up there. Is this another resting place? Yeah, so apparently you can stamp the flag down and rest here. You can raise your fortitude right So how do I raise my fortitude rank? Set Divine Beast battle set. Um... Give me fire. Did it work? No. Okay. So you have to confirm. So apparently, I'm level 12. I'm level 12, but, um... Well, wait, why am I level... Never mind. I... I'm wondering why I'm not level 13, actually, because... Maybe that's just how many upgrades I've had. Because you start out with one. Yeah, it still should be... That's still off. Alright, let's move on. There's gotta be a way to get up here, right? Or maybe I can get up there later. Well, that was an accident.
Wait, is that an enemy? Oh lord. So how do I, can I sneak up on him? No. I can do that too. So then, you not see what my morale is, bro? Oh, boy. I know it's kind of cowardly. I need to be back. You gotta be ready. You gotta be ready for stuff like that, man. You can't just a yellow turban bandit guard. So yeah, this is definitely in China. And if you played Dynasty Warriors, you know all about the yellow turbans. Can I equip it here though? Yellow turban. So now I'm a yellow turban apparently. Oh, that's why. So this assassin guard increases certain stats. This one will take away from my fire but give me more water. And there's a weight system apparently. <coughs> I'll equip that so I can be a full fledged yellow turban. And it looks like while I'm equipping stuff, I can still be hit. So that's uh at least Unlike with Dark Souls, I mean, uh, unlike with, um, Pole Arm is 141. These are 95s. So I, yeah, I'll, I'll take this since it's an increase. But what about this? But yeah, unlike with D with uh, Elden Ring, where you have to be at a campfire to switch out stuff, you can switch out stuff on the fly here. Ooh, his morale is four. Let me do this right here before I go down there and drink up a little bit. Drink me some of that apple juice. Oh, wow. I didn't even expect that to happen. What do you think you're trying to boss up on? Boy, your morale is only good. I took out somebody whose morale is four, and that's all they give <gasps> Now you know I'm not never scared. I'm not never scared. You know? I ain't ever scared, son. Who you think you used to be? I don't care your morale is six. Yellow turban champion footwear. Let me make sure ain't no enemies around before I switch out. Yeah, I ain't ever scared. Melee power plus 10, whereas fatal strike damage is plus 15. So, I, you know what? We, we, we're trying to be a full yellow turban here, so. It'll increase my weight, but physical resistance will increase too, so. I am now a full fledged yellow turban general. Let me go ahead and. Jim. Plant the flag of the yellow turbans. Also, a battle flag. Okay, so my. So I didn't level up until I planted that flag. Um, what kind of. What kind of sword style? Hold on. Sorry about that. That was so weird. Someone just came and knocked on my door. And then when I went to answer, they were walking away. So I didn't know who they were. So 
I assume I have an idea of who they were, but I don't know. I don't like his running animation. They're gonna have to fix that. Yeah, they're gonna have to fix that running animation. But let us continue. The morale is four, huh? And y'all just sat there and watched me, huh? Well, I'll go ahead and take this chest. What's in here? There was nothing? Jump somebody? Y'all gotta jump somebody? Y'all had to jump me. Even though you had to jump. Me. There's two more people over here. Do they respawn or something? Okay, they're below me. Now let them stay right there. Oh, we got archers. Sword and Wuhan Calvary on it. I hear what sounds like a monster. Hopefully, he doesn't attack me as I'm switching out my armor. Okay, Wuhan Calvary armor. Yellow turban commander helmet. Okay, so I'm a commander now. Wuhan Greaves. I'm about to say I don't see. Yeah, there ain't no. Yeah, there's a monster around here somewhere. A bronze sword. Spin attack, sustain break. Yeah, but it's 131, so I'll keep it. Nah, that's a downgrade. I don't know if that's the wind or if that's some kind of beast. Let me see, do I have a way to get back up here if I go down there? Because I want to see what's over here. I mean, after all, this is a limited time demo, so... Actually, by the time this video comes out, this demo will probably be over. This demo session will probably be over. How would I get over there? <coughs> oh, I can go around. Okay. So it looks like the enemies respawn. Just like in Elden Ring. No! He has a morale of six. <coughs> Anything after all. Now who's shooting me with those arrows? Okay, this is where I came from. I need to get over here because uh, I 
I didn't think that archer would give me an opportunity. Now I need to go back across that bridge. So they do have the, the, the backstab. Wow, you had to get in the back, bro. You didn't fight me straight up. Okay. What happened? I think I'm dead here. Really does like that right there. Don't get scared, man. So if he'd have killed me, his morale would have went to five without even doing anything. I ain't got no choice. I gotta use a health pot. And if I save here, I assume everybody will respawn. The reason I came up here the Chief Flake. Wait. I wanted to go down there. Because there's an archer down here. takes care of you. A white horse cavalry? Hold on, let me... White horse cavalry. Nah, that's worse than what I have. So what I want to see is what's up these stairs over here. Ooh. A morale of eight. Blocking them? Yeah. Hold on. I'm not blocking that? I don't know. I'm trying to get him out of the offense. Time for me to mount some offense of my own, boy. I don't care if your morale is eight. Ring pummel and saber. Ring pummel saber. Enemies that defeat players. Another battlegrounds will appear on your battleground as a vengeance target. A vengeance target will have a high morale rank, but will also give various bonuses when defeated. Using a memorial tablet will remove all vengeance orders. So, I guess I avenge the guy that was killed just now. Don't worry whoever you are, I, I, I just... Wait, I just defeated a morale rank 8 and I only increased by 6? I can already tell now I'm going to have to um, understand more about the game. But I want to see what this ring pummel saber is all about. This iron sword is stronger than this bronze sword, so I'll take that. And we will move on. So now let's move on to this big old red dot on the map. Yeah. 
They're saying they're enemy, but they must be on the bridge above me. I gotta be careful because I got 6,000 cheese. Targeting's a bit wonky. Turn around. I'm trying to have this guy stab me in the back. Okay, so blocking apparently is very essential. I need a flag and I need one right now. And I ain't got no choice. I gotta eat another, drink another pot. Wulan cavalry hat and an iron sword rank two. Make sure there are no enemies in the area. So this Wulan sword rank two. What happened to it? Where is it? Throwing knife? I'll take that. Oh, it was a Wulan cavalry hat. And it does not help defense wise, so I won't equip that for now. Now look at this, look at this map. Is that an enemy? I'm curious to know what happened here that caused all of these people to uh, end up like this. Please let me, there, there be a flag around here somewhere. Oh, no. I knew there was a beast. I knew there was a beast. Yeah. I was about to say, how do I get this in? Now don't get it twisted now. I ain't never scared, it's just I haven't saved. So if I fight this tiger, he absolutely destroys me. Oh, I thought he was tiger. Target the guy in front of you, bro. Somebody gotta leave, guys. Never mind the target. So, um, can I equip anything else? Anything else here? Okay. Use to recruit or seek reinforcement. Removes vengeance. Well, I wish I had some more dragon cure pots.
Yeah, I think this is gonna be the end, unless... Unless I go back to the flag. I got a Dragon Cure Pot. But if I go back to the flag at the beginning of this bridge... Maybe I can save right there. Maybe I was mistaken. Well, I got two of them. Um, I, I, like I said, I guess I have to prove that I ain't never scared. It doesn't appear to be a stamina bar. Wait, what's down there? This seems like it's going to be a huge open world. That red area down there, it, it, there might be a lot to explore here too. Oh, you even got, um... You even got, uh, emotes. Alright. Let's see what we can't do about this tiger. Are you serious? Are you serious? I was about to say, where did they start me at? I still have six uh, morale. They started me here. Stay down there, man. Off me, boy. I don't know who you thought you used to be before you was born, but I think you know the rest. If you ain't that person, man. Oh my god, man, I don't understand. So apparently you can't pay the person unless you're targeting him? Why won't he drink? practice in for that tiger because I, I we gotta run that back ain't no way you just gonna mop the floor with me like that yeah I can't wait to see what the story is as to why these how these people ended up this way but, we got to talk, you and me, we have to talk, my friend. Give me a cheap headshot in right quick. Drink the boy! 
change your mind all of a sudden? I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand because I'm I'm dodging. I'm I, I'm I mean I'm parrying, but it's not uh, working. Like instead of a parry, it's making me dodge into his attack. Did you just disrespect me again? Let me level up. Uh, Metal Virtue, Earth Virtue. I mean, what are the benefits of this? Equipment weight. Earth gives me more equipment weight in defense. Fire gives me more attack. So let's upgrade this. Alright. And just like in Elden Ring, um, the more you level up, the more points it requires for the next level, which does not make sense to me. That's one of the things about Elden Ring that I did not really like. Because this is level 10, so you're telling me that it's going to take the same amount of experience to increase this from level 1 to 2 as it takes to get this from 10 to 11 alright so I got 4 things again can I I don't think I can just run past it <laughs> Both of y'all off that cliff. I was about to say, come on back up here. What? Wait, is that other dude over here still? Looks like he is. Someone's still shooting arrows at me. I guess he's scared to come up and face me. So vulnerable. All right, let's try this again. So, um, I'm just going to be real. Right now, this went from a, I'm probably going to pick it up to a, I'm probably going to watch it play through. Because they haven't got the mechanics fleshed out just yet. Like right there, that was a clear back stab. 
You know what? Let's just see if I can ignore everybody here. And, and as you know, when you get to that point where you just want to ignore everything and get back to the ball, that's when you, uh... That's when things start to get, you know, to that point. And there is no tower shield in this one, so... You can't just block. Massive blows. to me he tracked on to me so then what's the point in dodging what's the point in dodging if he tracks on to you <laughs> I don't have time for this, bro. I don't have time for this. That makes absolutely no sense to me. So he just gets to lock on to you and there's nothing you can do. This is going to be more of a watch a playthrough Because I had enough of uh, I had enough of terrible boss mechanics in uh, Elden Ring. Admittedly, I was a bit hyped at first, but the first boss coming out the gate with terrible mechanics like that? Nah, you can have it. See what the rest of this demo is is uh is like and then call it. Can I get over there? I'm dead. Alright folks, um we're gonna call this a video. Uh this is called again this is called Wol Wolong Fallen Dynasty. And again, um, I have learned from Elden Ring. So I'm not going to sit here for six or seven hours trying to beat this one stupid boss. Uh, because of the mechanics of the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you... Again, to me, they have taken everything from Elden Ring. And instead of putting it in a fantasy world... Uh, 
they just well, I mean, not a fantasy, but like in in a make believe planet. They decided to, I guess, base it in China. Because you got the yellow turbans, you know, historically the yellow turbans were um, a, a, a rebel group. So, um, that's just a look at the game, uh, the gameplay. Um, I have to say, like I said, it it the combat and stuff is okay. I Right now, though... Um, I don't know, that boss fight just kind of brought back some terrible memories. Mainly from uh, Melkith the Black Blade. So, yeah. Um, for me, I'm going to be playing, uh, uh, definitely going to be playing Valkyrie Elysium. But as for this game, I'm going to give it a pass. And watch, probably watch a playthrough of it because, um, though Elden Ring was fun, don't get me wrong, Elden Ring was fun, and this game, to me, this game can be fun too, but not when you, you have to be like a hundred, you have to be a, a, you have to be a tool assist in order to get parries and, and stay alive. You saw, I'm sitting here constantly dodging, and the boss just holds his attack and tracks to me until he gets to me and swings. So dodging, and again, dodging does not appear to be invincible in this game. So, uh, yeah, this is a Souls-like, which is what they wanted, so uh, I won't take away from that. But as for me, I probably won't be playing it, because if I'm this agitated at the demo... I don't know. Uh, I, I I feel like I would be wasting my money, um, spending it on the actual game. So that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys get a, a insight on what the demo is about. Um, while it's still active, I might uh, play it some more and uh, just explore what's beyond the stupid tiger. But as of right now, my patience. My patience is high, but I don't want it to wear thin with this game. And I'm not going to let it wear thin with this game. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'm the com Again, the combat is... Um, it's El it's, the combat style is like Elden Ring, but instead of using the triggers to attack, you're using square and triangle. Um, circle, steel to dodge... And uh, apparently you have to be 99.99998% or better with your accuracy in order to parry and um, uh, in order to parry and actually do damage. As for the tiger, I, 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 I absolutely do not feel like just sitting here for six hours trying to figure out all of his attack patterns um to to try and beat him and for what it's a demo you know so i'm i'm gonna call it there because i can feel myself thinking of some things to say to the developers right now uh and probably boycotting dynasty warriors yes that's salty boycotting any future dynasty games any warriors games because of this and so before i let myself get to that level of salt get to that level of anger to where i'm just needlessly insulting the game because apparently i'm not good enough i don't have the 99.98 percent accuracy to parry bosses i'm just gonna call it here and if there is another video on it i decided to check it out some more and see where things go from there and that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you guys will also consider, you know, leaving a comment if you got to play the demo. If you didn't get to play the demo, um, do you plan on playing the game? Uh, do you plan on playing the game in the future? Um, let me know in the comment section. And um, 
like I said, I'm not taking I'm not taking anything away from the game. I think the combat is cool. I'm I'm very interested in how things got the way they are because if the yellow turbans are there, this is around the 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 fall of the Han and you know the the three kingdoms era. So I'm interested in how seeing how everything got twisted up to where there's zombie soldiers walking around and stuff like that. So um, the story is definitely going to be interesting. I don't know if I feel like dealing with the bosses though. Because like I said, it, you guys have no idea um, how long it took me to beat uh, that first boss in Elden Ring, in that castle. The, the level of frustration was just unreal. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. I, right now I give the game, uh, the demo is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'm not going to take away from that. So yeah, until next time, you guys know what to do. Hope you will subscribe to the channel for more content. Um, we are continuing the tome questing in Dead by Daylight. Um, and yes, if you are not aware, I have no shame in it. Um, if I feel that hit was unjustified, I'm not going to give you a hook. It's just that simple. But yeah, that's it for this game. Uh, maybe when I calm down, I'll jump back on it. But until next time, you guys stay blessed.